Damn, bitch. No matter what or when I cook, I'm always setting the fire alarm off. What's up, motherfuckers? As y'all see, I'm making two big ass chicken titties right now. Making dinner for me and Tatiana and setting the fire alarm off, you know, the usual, because every time I cook, even if a nigga made cereal, even if a nigga made motherfucking honey bunches of oats with some almond milk, he gonna still set the fire alarm off. Just like how people ain't got a green thumb, I ain't got a motherfucking cooking thumb thing. I don't know, is that a thing? But anyways, this week has been busy for your boy. Summer's popping off. And a lot of y'all know, for work, I'm a graduate assistant at the University of Toledo. And a lot of y'all, you guys know that I do like intramurals and things like that. But along with that, my job description is summer camp. So it's summertime and kids are almost out of school. So we've been trying to get ready for this summer bullshit. And uh, all week we've had training and stuff like that. So that's what my week has consisted of. This weekend though is Memorial, wait, is it Memorial Day weekend? Veterans Day? I know it's something to do, no disrespect to any of my people that have served overseas and whatnot, but I, I honestly don't know. I think it's Memorial Day weekend. Where I should be is Miami, because y'all know South Beach get a little bit ratchet on Memorial Day weekend, but and they ain't trying to get shot up, because niggas also get shot up on Memorial Day weekend, so. But this weekend, I think we're just gonna chill. My boss invited me to uh, go to her lake house. Okay, you know she nah. <laughs> let me start right there, cause I don't know who be watching this. So let me stop right there. But um, this weekend I don't know what we gonna do. Um, I don't know. We just we gonna go with the flow. We gonna see how it go. Hey, that just right. We gonna go with the flow. We gonna see how it go. Also, wow. shout out, little trip, for getting a new job. What up? Because y'all know how much she hated the last job at. I still have my job, though. <laughs> Her job at Ruby Tuesdays. I got two jobs. Just kidding. <laughs> so, she got a job at this Italian spot. Hopefully, the hours won't be as strenuous. And she'll be making more tips. Because at Ruby Tuesdays, niggas wasn't giving her shit, so... I'm happy. Like yeah, I'm happy that I won't have to hear her complain about Ruby Tuesday no more because I was tired of that shit. And I hated her job more than she hated it. So now that she got this new job. I mean, job, like, the thing is, I hated that job so much. Like, one day I came home just crying. It's more than one day. It was one day. Anyways, she got a new job. Ow. She's drunk. I'm not drunk. And she got her dick me down shorts on. So. Yeah, just wanted to congratulate oh. her. Y'all tell Tatiana congratulations. I mean, it's not a big girl on job. I'm getting a big girl job. It's not a big girl. She's getting a salary. She got a signing bonus for nice. getting with this place. So we on the come up, moving on up. Oh, and I'm drunk. To the east side. Your boy doing his homework right now. And I never really talk to y'all about school too much because I'm sure y'all don't even really give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about school. But I'm in grad school, which I've said a million times. I don't know if I've ever told y'all my major. I'm a recreation and leisure administration major. So I want to go into campus recreation, which I'm already in right now, but I want to continue that as a professional. But I've always been a nigga that struggles in school. I don't know if any of y'all in the same boat, you struggle in school or whatnot, but I've always struggled in school from kindergarten through eighth grade. I got held back in fourth grade. So shout out to anybody that's been held back before. High school was easy, I can't lie. I did really good in high school. And I mean, the kindergarten through eighth grade I went to, it, it wasn't like it was an easy school, but still I struggled. Then once I got to college, struggled again, was in my undergrad for six years, Never thought I'd see myself in grad school, but now I'm in grad school, and this shit is easy as fuck. Like, I thought high school was easy. This shit is a joke, grad school. And I don't know if it's because I'm smart 
or if the professors just don't give a fuck. Like, this shit is way too easy. But now I'm coming to the conclusion that my professors might be retarded. Like, this isn't the first time. I've had several assignments where the professors ask the same fucking question over and over and over again. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've probably seen it before. But I'm sitting here, and this assignment, we have to pick, like, uh, an organization that we want to be a part of. So I picked Boys and Girls Club. And look at these fucking questions. So this question is, does your agency conduct fundraisers? If no, choose another agency. If yes, briefly describe several of them in detail. Or if they have a large one fundraiser, describe that in detail. So does it have a fundraiser? Yes. Then question number four, what fundraiser is the agency known for? Describe in detail. Bitch, I already described in detail in question number two what fundraiser they have. Why I gotta do that shit again? Then I'm going through the assignment some more and uh, then it asks me what might the impact uh, if... Oh shit, I misread that question so I'm a fucking idiot. So thank God I started vlogging when I read, read this. Or y'all know what I'm trying to say. But when I explained in detail what the fundraisers were, I talked about why they had the fundraisers. Then questions number nine is asking, what will the money be used for in the fundraiser? Nigga, I already said it five times. This shit is ridiculous, bruh. So if any of y'all want to get an easy master's degree, if you could get scholarships if you live in Ohio, I suggest you go to the University of Toledo and go into the rec admin program because it's a fucking joke. And I feel like I'm still in. Like I said, I've always struggled in school and your boy got like a like a 3-3 GPA or some shit. I ain't had that shit since high school, so it's easy. But my professor's retarded as fuck, so. Damn, that shit was tough. I mean, obviously, I just did a workout. I don't even think I need to say that. Y'all obviously saw it. But I did some uh, circuit stuff with this hill. I mean, I watched the video while I was taking breaks. And the hill doesn't look that steep, but it's, it's pretty steep. Especially for someone that hasn't done something on a hill in years. So, sorry I'm out of breath. That shit was tough, but I mean, circuit stuff is good. I mean, me being an exercise science student, I already knew this, but my boy Luke, he just reminded me. And it's not like I forgot, but it's just not something that's been on my mind, but y'all know I'm trying to get like in better shape or whatever. And what I've always been taught is that doing a bunch of cardio, like running miles, being on an elliptical for an hour, 30 minutes, whatever. Like that stuff's not really that beneficial from what I've been taught. What's better is circuit training. So if y'all trying to get in shape and like lose weight, feel better, I suggest doing circuit stuff, not running on the treadmill forever. But sometimes that's just easier. And coming up with a circuit plan that's not that's not easy it's tough so like this i kind of had an idea what i was going to do but for the most part i made it up on the fly but maybe i'll start doing this more often it felt good I felt like i challenged myself i felt slow i probably looked super slow in the video maybe i'll like speed it up so i look faster well, i'm obviously going to speed it up I'm not going to have y'all watching me do like 30 minutes of this but I'm about to head back home. Tati Auto wants me to clean the place. So I'm gonna do that, edit the vlog, and I'll holla at y'all later. It's been real. Until next week, or until Monday. Happy Memorial Day. And that's the day, I know I said I forgot. It's not Veterans Day, it's Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day. Peace. 
So my idea is YouTube needs to have it to where you can just subscribe to playlists because I mean I separate all my playlists like vlogs and all that stuff everything 